Welcome back, Legionnaires. I am Rogeru, and this is Byzantium Universalis. It looks like the last time we left off, we were dealing with just a few revolts. Uh, our armies were crushed up in uh, Kandar, but we have some reserves that did fairly well down in Karaman. So we're going to move them over to uh, Constantinople to meet up with our other troops and see how we fare from there. Now we are ahead in uh, military technology, so we have a few military points to spend. Uh, this may be one of the rare times, depending on the progress of our Sunni zealots there in the homeland, that I may harsh treatment some provinces. Okay, we're just going to pick up the uh, remaining troops in Adana uh, manually. Automatic fleet transport isn't always the most reliable. Okay, Castamonu and Sinop have fallen to rebels. Let's keep an eye on our rebel factions, see who's likely to rise up next. It looks like Kandare Separatus. So we'll be sure to have troops over there as soon as possible. get our remaining troops in line so we have as many people to crush this revolt as possible. Actually, I think 14 will about do it. Let's split these in half and sit on our mainland provinces which are not of the proper faith. Hopefully that'll drive some rebellious tendencies down there. Okay, let's merge up troops and see how we do in this fight. Oh, as luck would have it, they attacked us, taking a hills penalty, which is minus one. Okay, that went splendidly. Still converting the province. And we have no unrest there because it just revolted. Unfortunately, it looks like we may lose those troops. Go ahead and, and turn on our forts, just for the time being. Hopefully they can run. Probably not. Nope. Okay, next up are the Karamani Separatists in Karaman and Adana. So we'll deal with that in short order. Okay, we need to attack these stacks before they merge up. Okay, excellent. That uh, stack went down fairly easily. Okay, the fort in Macedonia is under attack. That's expected. Go ahead and turn off our remaining force just to save some money see how we fare in this attack. They have a 1-1-1 one, one, one leader, but they have increased morale, just because that's what uh, Sunni zealots do, or religious zealots do. Okay, excellent. Let's go ahead and dock up our boats just so they get a tick of uh, recovery. Going to have to take the Diplo hit here. I don't want to lose any stability while we're converting. Anything that has converted, however, will start to core. Okay, let's get our troops shipped back over to Adana. Damaged though they might be, they're still uh, legionnaires of the Roman Empire. Yes, more admin events. Amazing. We could take uh, more tolerance for the true faith here, but I said we were going to focus on our admin tech just a little bit, and our coring, of course. Need to convert the infidel as soon as possible. 
Okay, Castamanu is orthodox. We can start making it a core. Where are we going to convert next? Thessaly. Sounds like a good plan. Actually, let's go ahead and convert the provinces here in Anatolia so we can start converting them, or coring them, rather. Adana is going to take a while. There's some decent uh, development provinces here. 15, 17, 12. Not bad at all. Oh, did our general die? Looks like he did. How unfortunate. He was quite good. Okay, convert Karaman to Orthodox. Yes, actually, instead of uh, converting Adana, let's just go for Karaman. That'll give us some extra missionary strength to convert the rest of this land here. I do have the level 2 missionary strength men. If it comes to a land war with the Ottomans right now, we're in a pretty poor position, but things will get better. Our new land will have its autonomy ticked down, we'll core new provinces. Uh, and look at that, we're already in, uh, in the green there when it comes to our money situation. Every month, that autonomy in all of our new provinces will tick down. The Karamanese and Ramazani separatists, they'll be rising up soon, we'll be ready for them. 11 and 5, that looks to be just about the perfect ratio for our Eastern Tech forces here. We're not currently doing anything with our diplomats, so let's go ahead and uh, improve our relationship with our dear allies, Hungary and Poland. Theodoro is hostile to us. They want Sinop. Apparently they uh, fabricated a claim. And they're just a little... Uh, they think their britches are bigger than they really are. They won't accept vassalization. Let's see. We'll have... Karamanese separatists just in the province of Karaman. And they're about to fire here. 6% chance every month. I'm going to be playing this a little bit more slowly while we build up strength. Turn that four off. And then as soon as uh, the Anatolian provinces are stable, we'll go ahead and continue our wars against the Ottoman Turk. Our financial situation has to improve dramatically, which it has already. We've got three ducats positive. Build up our force limit grab some cannons and just crush these uh, upstart sultans of rum. Unfortunate, Juan has died already. And uh, Traianios has come to power, a 634. Not as good as his father, but good enough. Andronikos, however, is going to die in a hunting accident as soon as I can manage that. Okay, while we're waiting for revolts and missionaries, let's just uh, crank this up to speed 5, at least for a little while here. Okay, Bulgaria has some increased opinion of me. That's not so bad. Alright, we can cr increase admin tech, but we're going to hold on to our points. We converted a Dern. Why did I do that? I'm supposed to be converting Anatolia. Okay, back to Adana. Caraman is going to take a while. It's a big province. But we will have that plus 1% missionary strength after we convert it for the mission. Okay, Caramanese separatists have risen up. Uh, they're led by a two-shock leader, beating our shock. But they are forced to take a terrain, uh, terrain negative there. Okay. Venice ceded Friuli and released Croatia. That means Dalmatia is now available for the taking. I don't actually have a claim on this. We'll get that and add Croatia to our empire in short order. Religion in Cyprus changes to Catholic. 
Well, that's unfortunate. Well, we'll just convert that right away after we deal with the, uh, the infidel here. Okay, Adana is the next province likely to fire some rebels at us. Conversions and coring is going wonderfully. Don't have any loans. How wonderful. Our capped relationship with Hungary is rather low, allied to their rival. Did you rival Poland? Hmm. Okay, Castamonu. Okay, all of Kandar is cored. That should help us uh, dramatically, actually. Our manpower is not exactly full. We don't want the Ottomans thinking we're weak and declaring another war, so we'll sit on that for a little bit, build up, uh, oh, I don't know, ten cannons? <laughs> when the time comes, anyhow. Okay, the Adanese people have risen up against our relatively competent general. He only lost several thousand men in the battle. Okay, and that's it for rebellion. Let's go and take Dalmatia. I think, as I was saying, if it comes between uh, Hungary and Poland, I'm definitely siding with Poland. Ottomans getting larger. This is not good news for us. In any case, moving my troops over to uh, the Balkans will help in the event that the Ottomans decide we're their next snack. That's what they thought from the very beginning, wasn't it? But no, we've uh, we've proven our mettle. Lose 25 admin power. Mm, these events. Circassia is allied with Theodoro. I could probably make the two of these my vassals if I were quick about it. Declare on Circassia. And in the same war, vassalize Theodoro and Circassia. So that would be uh, not too bad. We are at our Diplo uh, relation limit, though. As always, I'd rather not lose manpower, not gain autonomy, and don't care so much about Diplo. I care about it enough. Just not enough that I'm okay with <laughs> that event. Okay. We're capped out with Hungary. Our rebel problems are dealt with. Taking this province would probably seriously piss off Hungary. They're about to attack them just the same as me, so let's just get there first. Okay, 75% aggressive expansion, 100% cost. Cleansing of the Heresy and Dalmatia are the same, but... We just got Cleansing of the Heresy, let's not let it go, go to waste. Scrappy buggers, aren't they? I only need nine men here. Let's get rid of our damaged regiment. Not get rid of, but send them back to friendly territory. It's a nice way of putting it. Missionaries are taking their sweet time. We can now afford the, uh, the level two missionary strength advisor. Hopefully he doesn't die immediately. Yes, of course I will take that royal marriage, Poland. Staunch ally of the Greeks. Cyprus, now that they're Catholic, they actually do have some unrest. Including their separatism. Okay, let's try and get that royal marriage with Hungary before we take Dalmatia. Hopefully, it'll be enough not to flip them to hostile after we take this. Manpower can never regain fast enough. Okay, our claim on Circassia has finished. Okay, now we have converted Karaman. Completed our uh, mission there. Now, achieve religious unity. Is that possible? Yes, we can convert everything. Give us tolerance of the true faith. I'm a fan. Let's go for it. 
Franconia. It's the last Anatolian province I wanted to convert. Now, unfortunately for these fellows, I have to core them in order. Adana, then Caraman, then Kanya. Just because none of them are coastal. Okay. This war is done. Let's see if we pissed off Hungary enough. Not nearly. Fantastic. I would like to release Croatia just to feed them some provinces from Hungary, but we're in no position to fight these fellows. Hungary and Austria, best of friends. I don't want to fight Austria. Let's just be honest there. Not yet, anyhow. Westernization will come through taking we in, and we can eat Hungary, at least the Croatian parts, soon. But top of our priority is restoring the eastern part of the empire first. Okay, what sort of techs can we take? We can take a military tech. Uh, Diplo. Diplo tech seems fine. We're still a bit behind. Let's see. 300, 400. Yes, we should have enough even if we take uh, admin tech 6 to core our remaining provinces. Soon, anyway. Actually, having Dalmatia is more trouble than it's worth. They're better suited to being a vassal. Yes, it will cost us a, a Diplo point a month just to have them hanging around, but we'll take Bulgaria in short order. We'll, uh, we'll annex them. In fact, let's just get that started sooner rather than later. Empire runs on paper. Excellent. Okay, we've converted to Donna, which means we can start coring it. Uh, I would rather convert Thessaly than Cyprus or Crete. It has the lowest autonomy of the three. See, 40% there, 31% here. A converted Thessaly will be of more use in the short term. Now, if only I had any sort of claim on Wallachia, I could vassalize them as well. Yes, as I said, the Diplo points in the short term don't make too much of a difference. Really, I am concerned about keeping up in Diplotech so that we can control the Mediterranean, but other than that, all we're really holding out for is the late game Imperialism CB at Tech 22. We do appear to uh, have a light ship here, strangely enough. We'll have them protect in Constantinople as well, join up with the rest of the trade fleet. Go ahead and continue fabricating on the Ottomans. Okay, we've nearly gained enough points in uh, admin to take our next idea, which will be military. We're, we're far ahead on that. We've had decent military rulers this last generation or so. The missionaries are just speeding by here. It doesn't matter what we convert at this point. We have to wait for Kanya to finish their construction before we can core Caraman or uh, Kanya. We have to wait, <laughs> finish uh, coring Adana before we core Caraman or Kanya. Misspoke there. Okay, now everything will be converted in short order. We'll finish our mission. Might as well see what we can do about building up our forces here. Want a lot of cannons. Four should be good enough for the moment. Uh, it'll hurt our economy. 
But as I said, every month that ticks, our economy gets better. As I said that, it went down by 0 0.01. Just to make me a liar, I suppose. Our admin points are probably helped quite a bit by the focus and our level 2 advisor. Who will collect the tax? Negative 25 admin. Hmm. Peasants war in Poland. That is the last thing I wanted to see. Probably capped out with relationship with Poland for the moment. Very concerned about the Ottoman army. Nothing we can do about it right now. Let's try and make this first military idea a doozy. Infantry combat ability wouldn't be bad. Cavalry combat ability I like. And military tech cost reduction for the rest of the game once we complete this idea group would not be bad either. You know, I'll take aristocratic. It's not something I usually take. But hey, you never know, maybe we'll lose this war badly enough that I can finally click the Liberatum Veto. Let's see, I have to unlock Noble Knights, which is the first idea here in Aristocratic. I need eight war exhaustion, and we have to be at war. We lose 10 war exhaustion, gain 30 army tradition, and gain 100 military power. I really, really want to click this at least one time playing this game you know, before it gets patched out or whatever. Okay, there we go. Noble Knights. Cavalry combat ability. And cavalry cost. That even helps out our, uh, our military. Or our economy. Cavalry cost or infantry cost reduction. That also reduces the maintenance cost, in case you weren't aware. Okay, we can core both Caraman and Kanya. I'm not sure why I can do both. Technically, Adana is the only Chord province that touches uh, either of these two. I'm sorry, Adana is the only Chord province that touches Karaman. Kanya is out by itself. I don't have a core on Karaman yet. There's no reason I should be able to core both of these. Unless that was a recent change. Uh, I believe it was. I, I remember reading something vaguely similar to that. Where if they're on the same continent... Uh, you can core them if you have an adjacent province. Or if you have adjacency of any kind. Something like that. Oh, Poland, you're dying a lot. You're really tanking my legitimacy. Save the Greek people in Corfu. Okay. Who's Venice allied with? Burgundy and Switzerland. Hmm. Could I get anybody to help? Poland's in massive debt. Hungary has a truth with uh, Venice. And Wallachia is fighting against Muscovy. Hmm. Could we take on Venice by ourselves? Probably couldn't deal with Burgundy. Yeah. Honestly, I'd rather wait until my allies get on in that one. Or get... <laughs> can join in on that one, rather. Okay, so what missions could we take? Protect against the Mamluks. Have 21 troops. Well, I can do that. I just want to build another cannon. Yeah, I think 5 is definitely going to be my limit for the early game. Okay, our overall score is not too bad. I'm not sure why we're ranking so highly. Okay. Protect against the Mamluks. Completed. Improve our prestige. Don't want to fight Venice. Restore the Pinarchy. This gives us a claim on a couple of provinces here against the Mamluks. Allied with Morocco and Persia. What's their force limit look like? Oh, well, we already know that. They have 20 men. Do I want to risk a war with them on their own homeland? Probably not. Not right yet. 
Well, in any case, we'll try and figure that out next time. I've been Rotoru. Thank you for joining me in Byzantium Universalis. We will restore the Empire. Good luck.